Can I come in? No. What are you doing in here on your own? <laughs> you cheeky. Are you trying? Are you trying to get the snacks? <laughs> you cheeky monkey, I'll get you! Just four months late, we're finally comparing River's height Pick to age me. one. Peek a boo! She's now here. Peek a boo! Peek You've grown a lot. Peek a boo! Peek a boo! Oh, you are funny. Age two and four months. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome to, I think this is weekend eight now. I didn't vlog last weekend um, because I was ill. And I know lots of you will ask. I actually posted on Instagram, so a lot of you will, seen this or will have seen this already. Um, we're not sure if I had coronavirus or not because I had a fever and basically most of the symptoms but I didn't have a cough and I didn't lose my sense of smell and I feel like they're the key ones who knows but oh my god she's like shouting from next door the good news is I feel back to normal now um, I was in bed for five days and then taking it easy for a couple of days um, and I actually feel like totally normal now so um, yeah whatever it was it wasn't very nice but we don't know what it was um, and I don't know how I caught it either because we've been being super careful like disinfecting everything like it must have been on a package or either that or when I went to pick up a prescription for my mum but even then it was very very like it was all done outside like everyone was, like there was nobody waiting I just literally walked up to the window picked up the bag like this <laughs> put it on the floor in my car and hand sanitized like I didn't touch anything I don't know who knows where it came from um, so today is Saturday and we don't have any plans we're just chilling out rivers going bananas in the pantry um, and I think we might go for some bouncing anyone fancy some bouncing don't know what is going on here <laughs> trying to coax her out of the, <laughs> out of the <laughs> So many daisies on the lawn right now, guys. <laughs> I think it's probably like not a thing to have daisies on the lawn, like if you're a professional gardener or whatever, but I love it. <laughs> They're literally everywhere. Guys, look at River's hair. <laughs> she goes insane static on the trampoline and looks like a crazy lady. You too. <laughs> <laughs> so I've just come inside because we just got a delivery and I wanted to show you two dresses that I ordered for Riv um, that I just thought was so nice. I actually can't even remember where I saw the first one but they're both from Next and they literally look like expensive designer baby clothes and they're not. Um, so the first one is this little gingham frilly one which has the prettiest back just like a light cotton dress and the weirdest thing I actually saw one of my friends kids on Instagram wearing it yesterday I was like no way I've literally just ordered that for Riv so cute it's got like open square back square neckline at the front looks so sweet and then this one which is so pretty I just tried it on her and she was like it looks like a Christmas tree <laughs> I think it's cute um but yeah so I got delivered today guys, exciting baby deliveries. So guys, I'm doing a little bit of weekend baking. Today I am making focaccia. I actually put this on my Instagram stories probably like a month ago now, it was quite a long time ago. And lots of you guys were asking about it. I'm actually gonna do a different version today and do, I need to check if we've got tomatoes actually. I'm not sure if we do have tomatoes. I wanted to do um, a cherry tomato. Oh, we do, yes. So I'm gonna do um, a tomato and basil version of just like standard rosemary focaccia. I never made focaccia before I did that time and it was so good. I love it, but I never thought it would be like an easy thing to make. Um, so I'm actually doing it in the Thermomix. Like I've spoken about this thing a lot in my vlogs. It is amazing, but super expensive. You don't need a Thermomix to make bread at all, but it makes it easy. Um, so ingredients wise, I've only got a little bit of bread flour left because this stuff is like gold dust at the moment, but I do have plain flour. So I'm gonna use plain flour and hope for the best. Um, sugar, salt, um, two types of salt. This one for the top, this one for the um, dough. 
olive oil, rosemary from the garden, which smells amazing, yeast, and that's it. So yeah, let's see how it turns out. Hopefully it's as delicious as last time because seriously, the one problem with focaccia, let's go this way so I've got some light, is that it goes off in like, I mean, it's really good for 24 hours. After that, I mean, you could probably like heat it up and it would be a bit less stale, but basically you want to eat it the day you make it to get the good stuff. So I'm going to try and make that now. It's 12 o'clock, so I don't think it'll be for lunch. I think it'll probably be for dinner, but let's see how we get, um, see how we get on. Let's do it. <laughs> So I've just made myself a little bit of a everything in the fridge salad. You can't really see what's under it because I've covered it with so much stuff on top, but it's rocket, quinoa, um, some asparagus, tomatoes, onions, um, sun-dried tomatoes. So there is actually some homemade hummus under here. I'm gonna uncover it for you because we've run out of normal hummus and it's super easy to make, so I just whizzed up some hummus. Some ducker on the top and a little bit of dressing. That is my lunch. So this is the dough after about an hour and a half proving. Um, it lo actually looks a lot like pizza dough. I was worried when I put this in the bowl that it wasn't quite right, but actually I think it is. I'm gonna put it in the pan now and then leave it to proof for another half an hour and then put the goodies on top. Um, I'll show you when it comes out of the oven, but I think it's gonna be good. Okay, so it's about to go in the oven. I've gone a bit rogue with the toppings and put rosemary and basil because um, I had both and I wanted to use some of the rosemary from the garden and then I also have a basil plant that is kind of dying so I don't know if they'll go but looks pretty tasty to me in it goes I'm going in the gym 30 minutes down guys I actually got a personal best today um, which I was really happy about because I basically haven't really been in the gym for the last week so I was chuffed with that and I've now come back to my focaccia, which Mike took out of the oven, it actually looks slightly better than it does. It just hasn't risen. This, I think, is the problem with using plain flour instead of bread flour. Look at it, guys. So, my camera just ran out of battery. Hang on, what's going on here? Hello. Um, then River woke up, then I went to get changed. Anyway, I'm back now. And the focaccia, as I was saying, it's turned out okay. It just doesn't have that perfect sponginess. I'm gonna see if River likes it. It still tastes good, I tried it. Um, she's watching a bit of Paw Patrol because she woke up in the worst mood ever. Let's cut her a little bit of this. Oh my goodness guys, we've just come for a walk in the garden um, before cooking dinner. I've neglected the rhubarb this year and it has grown out of control. <laughs> we need to get eating some rhubarb and custard. Some Stat! We're making some rhubarb gin, yeah. Seriously. Mommy, huh. Daddy, I there you go. Sponges. Rhubarb for you. Rhubarb. Nice. Rhubarb. Yummy. Wanna try some? Ah, sour. Don't fall for it, Bugsy. Got my gardening assistant. Oh. Oh, I spoke too soon. What should we cook with the rhubarb, Riv? Rhubarb and custard? Some kind of jam? We need to get some researching tonight. You put it in your basket your bucket. <laughs> You look cutie. Oh, Riv. I think it's a bit tall. Oh my goodness. It's a good job you've just been fleed, piglet bear. This is where all the daffodils were and they have to properly die before you mow them again. It's like proper wild. And she is loving it. What are you sniffing, man? Piggy, piggy, piggy. What are you doing? This is where she disappears to, you see in the long grass. There's also, I haven't been into this corner in a couple of weeks and I've literally been in bed for a week, that's probably why. But this, um, I think these are peonies again, but they've just been like completely engulfed by weeds. We need to sort this out. I feel like picking them. The bees, the bees are all in there, aren't they? Can you hear them buzzing? Buzzy bees. Um, but literally they're the most beautiful, I'm gonna climb in here and show you, the most beautiful, beautiful color and they're just perfect. I really want to pick them. Mike says it's, there's going to be a frost tomorrow. So I might come and pick them and put them in a vase, but they just won't last very long in the house, I know. Um, 
such a shame. They're like hidden away behind this, it's like a little tree here and they're hidden behind it. So I've left Mike and River bouncing on the trampoline. I've got the rhubarb. This is gonna be tomorrow's project. I think I'm probably gonna make some compote um maybe stew some we'll see i'll get googling tonight i always find this, every year i find rhubarb really tricky because it's one of those i mean it, it's a fruit right it seems like a vegetable but i don't it's sweet anyway well it's actually not sweet you have to put so much sugar with it it's one of those things that it's just it's tasty but it's difficult what do you guys like rhubarb for let me know apart from gin i know gin it's good in gin and I'm now getting everything ready to make some fajitas. I'm actually doing them with seitan. I think this is the first time that Mike's probably eaten this. Um, it's basically like made out of wheat. Um, it's probably the meatiest of like fake meats out there. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I'm also gonna do probably just something slightly different for Riv because she won't like like the spiciness of fajitas so um yeah we're having an early dinner tonight we're all gonna eat together which I love especially when the sun's out it's just so nice to have an early dinner and be able to eat in the garden also got a FaceTime catch up with three of my friends in five minutes so I'm gonna cook and chat at the same time but first all importantly I'm gonna make a drink so I've got some lime and mint. This is probably gonna be like all the flavors all together and a bit much. Um, I'm gonna put in a little bit of my Cooper King herb gin and some of this. I got sent a whole um, box of the different flavors that these guys make it's called long tail mixers. And this is the Island Spice one. So probably meant to go with rum, but I don't have any rum. So this is what I'm gonna do. Okay, we just missed the last bit of sunshine. So we're eating inside. Um, we're having this set up. Mike is very upset that the avocado that we have in the fridge is not ripe, so we don't have any I avocado. Have breakfast and now I can't have any Oh, I think it's gonna be a couple more days, lovely. Mike. You just have to be patient with it. Uh, Rivi, what are the mice doing in your, in your wrap? Uh, are you not gonna eat them, are you? Baby. What do you do? They're not for eating. Are you going to eat them for your dinner? Baby. No. Are they in their blankets? <laughs> Sprivet's leftover dinner. <laughs> nice. In other news, this dress is making me so happy right now. I think it's my favourite dress of hers ever. And I think it was £13. Such a bargain. It's so cute. So the mice have got an upgrade. <laughs> from sleeping in the leftover tortilla wrap to sleeping in the cuff of my silk pajamas. <laughs> These are literally her favorite toy at the moment. They're the tiny baby mouse Sylvanian families and she's obsessed with them. She takes them everywhere. Mike's just taken her to bed, but these things are actually so cute. Look how tiny they are. There's three of them and she always, for some reason, always loses the yellow one. I don't know why the yellow one is doomed. We've lost it and found it like four times already. But they're so cute. Good morning, guys. What's up? Happy Sunday. I totally fell asleep at the same time as River last night and we're now having our breakfast together. Mike is cooking his own waffles and sausages Sunday breakfast. And me and River are having more of a continental style. Got some shreddies, apple, orange, yogurt. I've just got shreddies, to be fair. Glam as ever. Um, and then I'm gonna get stuck in to the rhubarb and see how we get on. I'm gonna do rhubarb compote and rhubarb crumble. Stick to the classics, stick to what you know, that's my theory. Um, but yeah, so we'll see how that turns out. Thought best do something with the rhubarb before it all goes to, what does it, what does it, it's not to seed is it with rhubarb, just probably just moldy, probably just rotten in the ground. <laughs> Someone is just a little smug right now about his breakfast. <laughs> Something's worth the wait. One effort, one effort. Breakfast for one. Ah, oh, so I've just finished my workout today. I actually did a morning workout today, which I used to always do morning workouts before I had River, but now I tend to do afternoon ones, either when she's asleep um, or in the evenings when Mike, well, not now, but when Mike used to come back from work. Um, but I just did like a five class pyramid class, which sounds intense, like five classes, but it's like five minute class, a 20 minute class, a half an hour class, a 20 minute class, a five minute class. So it ends up being, what is that? Just over an hour and, like an hour and 20 minutes. 
Um, and I loved it, it was really good. And now I've got it out of the way and I can have a chilled out Sunday, although there's a skylight in our gym. Look at this rain, how miserable is that? I just don't, I hate it when these days I go from being insanely beautiful and sunny, literally like midsummer yesterday, to windy and rainy, like you can hear all the trees like outside. How does it do that in one day? It's like complete polar opposites. Um, right, let's get to rhubarb chefing. Having a bit of a troll sing-along. <laughs> Little ones on the floor, playing with their dollies, and we've been dancing around the kitchen. Rhubarb update. Um, this is for the compote, I'm just waiting for the oven to heat up. This is a Delia recipe. Um, rhubarb, sugar, ginger, and orange. Uh, zest and juice and then this is just rhubarb and sugar for the crumble and then I'm about to make the crumble topping I've kind of modified this from the recipe I used for this one was a BBC good food recipe and I've modified it basically added oats into it um, and some cinnamon nutmeg because I really like cinnamon in my crumble um, and I've used marge instead of butter uh, to make it vegan and that is it easy peasy I'm, I've got high hopes for this I'm hoping. It smells delicious, so I'm hoping it tastes delicious too. Okay, rhubarb cooking mission accomplished. We've got five mini rhubarb crumbles. Add a little bit of almond flakes onto the top. I think these are gonna be really good. The compote, however, Delia never normally <laughs> lets me down, but it, it looks good. It's like, it's quite brown. It's kind of caramelized. Don't you blame Delia but it's, Delia <laughs> I'm pretty sure Delia I followed Delia's fire. recipe pretty much to the T. Um, and it's turned out a little bit, it's very sour and it has that like real spiced orange flavour. It tastes kind of like Christmas, but I mean it will be good. I'm going to eat it on my yoghurt in the mornings. Mike is currently chefing it up. What are you cooking? Are you Just having like a bit of a vegetable... Veggie pasta, pasta for, lunch? for lunch. As you've done a big exercise and I'm going to do a big exercise. What are exercise. you doing today? An so, hour, 90 a minutes. 90 minute ride, which is a heart rate ride, and then probably, I'm then. More? After 90 minutes? Yeah, You're a crazy I'm gonna, cat. I'm going to do a half an hour, probably low impact. Just I mean. Me down. Look at you with your giant hands. Keen bean. I was trying to navigate. <laughs> I was trying to that's, navigate the camera with this on. Can I just okay. point out that's what my hand size my hands are? So just imagine <laughs> how my hands are. Hello! So these things, by the way, are Mike's like barbecue pizza, pizza oven. oven gloves, which I use as oven gloves well, because they they're basically gloves. the best thing ever because they've got grips on them. They're really thick and completely like heat proof. And now we've got this oven, which is basically like a freaking professional oven and the handles on the pots get really hot because we've never had gas hobs before. And, um, and, and I mean, I've set a light set to a few like tea towels. Candles. 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 Tea towels. Tea towels. So, so you know what, like, if you use a tea towel to take the lid off a pan, which was what I used to do with the Arga, don't do that with a gas hob, just saying. Um, use Most these, they're great. <laughs> right guys, I've got a little project for this afternoon whilst River is sleeping. I say little. It's not really a little project, it's gonna take ages. Basically, if you guys um, watched a decluttering video, maybe it was a couple of years ago now, um, you might recognise this space. This is our bathroom storage. It's amazing, like we, we're super, super lucky to have so much storage. We, we basically, in our bathroom, have this double wardrobe thing, which is awesome. There's coats in that one, because there's not room for coats in um, where I keep the rest of my clothes. But we use this for storage of bathroom stuff. But the problem is, since River was born, um, well not since River was born, since she's been up and walking, basically she's obsessed with this cupboard, she's obsessed with the products. So I used to have things all under here and now I basically can't because she just gets them out and puts them all over the room. And because of her doing that, this has ended up in such a mess that everything basically gets thrown in because she can reach, like she'd be able to take that off and she'd be able to take that off. Um, I just put these here this morning. Normally everything is like pushed right back so she can't get it. I actually bought these little stadium um tier like sh mini shelves from Wayfair a few weeks ago um and they're gonna fit like they fit too wide I think they fit too wide I'm hoping they do along here um yeah they do actually because I checked it the other day I was, I was thinking like was I wrong um but yeah um so hopefully we'll be able to do something that is a little bit tidier 
than the current situation. And I'm debating whether or not I do Mike's shelf because let's face it, he's not gonna do it himself. That's my project for today. Now that is super satisfying. Mike's shelf is still looking very, very messy, but I need to get him involved in what he wants to keep and what he doesn't want to keep and blah, blah, blah with that. Do a little tour. Got my sheet masks. These are um, saline spray for my piercings, cleaning my piercings. I put these here. River will still be able to get these because she has no interest in big bottles. She only wants little bottles. She actually thinks they're baby bottles to feed her dollies, especially ones like this. She thinks they're actual like baby bottles, so she steals them. It's really frustrating. <laughs> so those, hopefully she won't go anywhere near them. And if she does, there's nothing like saline water's not gonna hurt her. So um, sheet masks and like sachet masks and stuff there. Special treatment stuff on the side there. All of this is skincare. So at the back um, is some like backups of Sarah Chapman. And I've got exfoliator stuff, um, masks and treatments and serums, eye cream, moisturiser, roller, and my um, teeth whitening kit. And then I've got fake tan all up on the back, hair removal, um, SPF, Pitts Bone and Vichy, my fave, um, bath oils and salts, spare deodorants. I've got quite a lot of these because I got given like a whole load of the new Mitchum natural ones. And they're actually really good. I love Mitchum and they now do natural deodorant, which is awesome. Soap, um, bio oil and like moisturizers and stuff. This is brush cleaning equipment. And then I've got my little um, bamboo Q-tips. I wanna switch to reusable. You can now buy like silicone, ooh, silicone reusable um, Q-tips, but I'm gonna use up this first, um, which one that I already had. And then this is all baby stuff. Um, I'm gonna see if River can reach this because it's at that I think it'll be too high but this is like the jackpot for her because it's all of the travel minis so I'm hoping she can't reach it if she can we might have to rethink and I'll put it on the shelf above so we'll see whether or not she can get those I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring her in in here later for bath time and like test it out and see what she can reach um but yeah all of my travel minis are here um that back there just in case she can um yeah so this is a bit of a mess but to be honest they're like Travel minis are a nightmare to store because they're all different and little bits and bobs and stuff. Um, and that's it. That is my bathroom. Shut. Very excited to be organised in there again because it was a tip. So we're now, well I am now cooking some dinner whilst we're waiting for Boris. Mike has got the news on. Waiting for Boris's big announcement. I don't think it's going to be a big announcement. I don't think much is going to change. Everyone seems to think it's going to be like this big thing this weekend but I feel like... And maybe he'll like change a few tiny things. I don't think it's going to be a big deal. Um, but tonight I'm cooking this, which is um, sticky tamarind and ginger tofu with mange too. And hopefully River's going to eat some too because she likes tofu. She calls it tofu. Um, and then we're going to have my rhubarb crumble for pudding. I forgot to vlog it before I ate half of it, but it's super tasty. This is probably one of my favourite ones yet. I like it. I kind of ruined the aesthetic because uh, um, these were so hot, they would have taken ages to cool down. But I'm pretty happy with how the crumble turned out. It smells delicious. And these two are spending their evening when you browsing say for babies. These two. Well, it's basically just River. This is River's favourite thing to do, is look through. It's basically like virtually looking through the Argos catalogue and she keeps spotting her babies see, and she gets she, super excited. See, this is the problem with this. You can't circle the screen and oh, tear it out. You can't tear it stick out. Stick it on a piece of paper and be like, Dear Santa. No. No, keep going. What about these ones, Riv? Look at that. That's pretty cool. No. Oh no, okay. <laughs> it's not a baby. It's not a baby, that's true. We're sitting here, guys, watching Nine. 1917, we which to watch it from the cinema. we wanted to watch in the cinema and we never ended up doing it, so we're watching it now. Let's go. Squidge is here. Oh, it's now really dark. Thanks for that, Mike. Piglet's here. Not that you can see her in the dark. Oh, Come on. It's just like Come on, screen. Flight. There we go. Aha. Piglet's here. GNT at the Hello. Ready. Hello, man. Oh, we love you, Piglet. And we'll see you lot next weekend. Can't 
Catch you later. Bye. I'm aware I look really weird, by the way, because I fake tanned my face today. And then I've sweated it off here. <laughs> and I look like a crazy person. You always look like a crazy person. See you next weekend. Love you all. Goodbye. Goodbye.